Alright guys, this is Mr. Robeson. We're working on statistics today. Today we're going to go over how to graph stuff in Google Sheets, specifically bar graphs, histograms, and box plots, or some sort of version of box plots. Alright, so one of the things that we're going to go over is bar graphs. So if we're going to make a bar graph in Google Sheets, the first thing we got to do is we got to put in the data somehow. And then we've got to select the data. We've got to click and hold and highlight all the data. Then we go to insert, then we go to chart, and then we choose the chart type that looks like a bar graph. Right? Once we get in there, we should be able to change the title, we should be able to change the color of the bars, and we should be able to add data labels. Like, see the numbers are labeled on the bars here. So let's switch on over and see if we can do that. All right, so here's some data. You guys have access to it. So we want to click here. I'm going to keep the titles in there because it'll put it on the axis for us. And we want to highlight all the data, and then we unclick. Next, we go up here to insert, and what we want to insert is some sort of chart. So we're going to click on chart, all right? and it's going to automatically select one for us, so it thinks that maybe a pie chart would be best, but we don't want the pie chart, so we're going to scroll up over here on the side, and where it says chart type, there's a drop-down menu, and we want to pick the one that looks like a bar graph, so there we go. So now once we have our bar graph, I said we wanted to be able to change the title. So it, it's just doing number of students versus favorite color, which were the, the title column up here. All right, but let's change this to, uh, so once we click on that, it gives us this, and we can just put in a title here. So students favorite color, there we go. And there it automatically changes there. We can do some other things here too, like we can change the font if we want. We can center it. I like it centered. We can change the color of the text. Right now it's on one of the gray colors. We can switch it to black. Maybe it'll stand out a little more that way. We can bold it if we want. There we go. All right, we can also change like the x-axis title and the y-axis title, but both of those seem pretty good. Uh, if we want it, we can change all the colors of the bars all at once if we want. Or we can do it one at a time. Um, before we do that, though, if we scroll down over here, so this is under Customize and Series, or if you just click on the bars, we can add in data labels, and it tells you how high each of the bars are. If we double-click on just one bar, we can change just that color. I'm actually cool with that one being blue, because that is blue. But let's go over, double-click on green, and switch that to green. It's too bright green for me. Let's go with something a little bit more greeny. And we'll change it to yellow. Yeah, kind of a beige yellow. We can do bright yellow if we want. Orange. Mm, try that orange. I'm trying to make it look different than the last time. Red. Maybe the darker red. And purple. To match the colors purple over here. We'll do a dark one. And there we go. So there's our bar graph. So we can be able to change the title, we can change the bar colors, and we can add data labels. All right, so now let's see, what was next? So after bar graphs, we should be able to create a histogram. So we have to put in all the data, just in one big list of numbers, then we select it, we click and highlight, we insert, we insert chart, and we choose chart type, usually it goes right to histogram. We should be able to change the title, and we should be able to change the width of the bars, and like the maximum and the minimum. So let's switch back over there. Next one down here on the bottom. So we want to highlight all the data, including the, the title there. Yeah, there we got all of it. Insert, chart, and there's a histogram. Cool, let's change the title. Uh, statistics, test scores. And let's see, while we're here, let's fold it and center it. And let's change it to black, just because we can. All right, we can change this if we want, but those look pretty good uh, with the bars. We can change what color we want. If we want it to be a different color, we can. Maybe we're feeling hot pink today. I don't know. Whatever you want to change it to, you can change it to. Darker red. Eh, that looks fine. All right, so some other things we can change. So let's see. So I clicked on horizontal axis, which is the x-axis here, or I can just click on these numbers here. It brings up the same thing. And I know my highest test score was 100, so I'm going to set that to 100. 
All right, so now I'm only going up to 100, but now the 100's kind of going off to the side, so something else I can change is the slant label, so I can make them slant if I want, like that. That works. I can also change them to 90 degrees if I want, so that would be going straight up and down. So either one of those is fine. I'm going to go back to 60. I like the slant look better. Uh, another thing is we can change the bin width, so we can change how wide things are. And that is a trait of histograms, so if we click on histograms, that gives us that. So right here, it says bucket size. That's what we're looking for. So it was under histograms, bucket size, and we can change it to 10, or we can change it to 5, we can change it to whatever we want, really. There it is. There's our histogram. Done. Beautiful. All of them are labeled. Real easy to read. Definitely skewed to the left here. <clears throat> Alright, so that's how we can make our histogram. And next up, all right, so this is the toughest one, the box plot. So the box plot, we have to, well, we got to have a list of the data. We need to find the minimum, the first quartile, the third quartile, the maximum, and then we have to choose a special chart type called the candlestick chart, and we still don't even have the median line, so it's not a really great box plot, but it'll still work. And then we should be able to change the, the title as well and label the axes. All right, so we have to use the formulas here, so equals min equals quartile, comma one equals quartile comma three for the first and third quartile and equals max so let's check and see how those work so the last column here all right so here's my list of numbers over here so to get the minimum i'm going to type equals min parentheses and after the parentheses it says select a range so the range i want the numbers i want are from here all the way down to there if i go too far it's not really the end of the world and now just to finish that, I click back up here, close the parentheses, press enter, and there's my minimum value, 30. All right, to get my first quartile, I'm going to type equals, and I'm going to type quartile, parentheses, and I'm going to select the numbers that I want the first quartile of. So I went too far, there it is. And then click back up here, comma, 1 for the first quartile. If I wanted the second quartile, I would type 2, which is the median. If I wanted the third quartile, I would type 3. And there's our first quartile. For the third quartile, equals quartile. And select the data. If you go too far, it's really not a problem. Comma 3. Enter. There it is. Equals. Now we want the maximum, so I'm going to type the word max for maximum. Select the numbers. I went too far, doesn't matter, close parentheses, enter, and there's my maximum. So now that we have those numbers, right, and you can pause it and go back if you need to get those numbers. So now that we have done those numbers, we highlight the title, whatever we're working with here, and let's actually change this to, to scores, because these are test scores. So scores, I'll highlight those, insert, chart. And it starts with this column chart. I don't want that. i got to scroll down a good ways. And there it is. It's called the candlestick chart. It's a candlestick. All right, so now it looks really wide. It doesn't need to be that wide. So we'll make it skinnier. Now it looks a lot more like a, a box and whisker plot. Now let's see. We need a title. So we're going to have to add a title in here. So customize. Chart title. Uh, and let's call this test scores because that's what it was. And it doesn't look good with it not centered, so let's center it. That looks fine there. We could change the color if we want. Um, let's see. Horizontal axis. Uh, vertical axis. Uh, yeah, that looks good. I think everything looks okay how it is. style. We can change colors if we want, change the border, change the background if we want. I think everything looks okay so far. Axis titles. What about a y-axis title? So if we go to chart, axes and titles, and then we click on vertical axis title, we can write test scores in over here. Because right. these are test scores, that works. There we go. And there's our, our graph. Okay. 
Alright, so that's our box plot. Alright, so those were the three types of graphs we wanted to learn how to do today. So 10 minutes, not bad. All right, so make sure you submit your notes for that or the, the completed graphs.